Uh, hey guys, um, I uh, recently noticed that uh, Canon had came out with a firmware update for the Canon 7D camera, and uh, the firmware update was uh, 2.03, I think is what it is, and uh, I went on to download it and put it on my camera without doing a Google search first, and I uh, kind of wish I had a look first, because... A lot of people having issues with that um, firmware update. Anyway, one of the issues that I started having is a uh, soft focus issue. And when you spend the kind of money that I've spent on lenses and glass and whatnot, uh, soft focus is just not acceptable. Um, so anyway, um, I called Canon, talked to them, and uh, pretty much I, I wanted to go back to the old firmware and... Canon tells me there's no way to do that, that they're not set up to uh, give us the option of going back to the old firmware. Once you put the new firmware on the camera, you cannot change it. All you can do is upgrade to the next firmware, which I think is kind of, you know, just, I just, I don't understand it myself, but hey, you know, they want me to ship it to them and course I got to pay shipping and the camera's more than a year old so it's not under warranty and they won't repair it you know under warranty they want me to ship it to them and they'll recalibrate it and charge me accordingly and you know honestly I just I think that's wrong I just don't you know this is a problem that came about because of their firmware not because of something that I did uh, their firmware actually did it um, anyhow like I said, one of the issues I'm having is uh, a soft focus issue, and um, so I decided I'd do a video on calibrating your, a lot of people say you're calibrating your lens, but you're actually calibrating your camera body to your lens, okay? And I'm going to show you a down and dirty way of doing that. I'm probably going to hear a lot of flack from a lot of people about that I'm not using the right stuff and this and that and the next thing because they sell a lot of high dollar high tech gizmos and gadgets to calibrate uh, this stuff and uh, you know when somebody comes along with a down and dirty way of doing things uh, that can be done on the cheap a lot of people are not a fan of that so anyway I'm going to show you what I've got set up here got the Canon 7D set here and uh, I have got a, if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but let's see. Raise you on up here and take your mobile. What we've got here is we have a framing square that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot of your choosing. And we have the Canon 70 on a tripod with a 70 to 200 2.8 lens on it. Got the uh, lens hood off because you don't have to worry about any kind of flare or anything. We're inside. Now, as you can see, we have this framing square set up just shy of being parallel with the camera lens. From looking at it, it almost looks like it's straight with the lens but it's actually not it's it's on just a little bit of an angle and i'm going to show you why all right let's get set up here and we're going to start to calibrate this lens we're going to zoom in a little bit on the back of the camera and i'm going to walk you through this okay now, one of the first things that you want to do is, you know, naturally, zoom out the 200 millimeter. When you zoom out the 200 millimeter on this lens or any lens, the further you zoom out, the more compression you're going to have. And that's going to affect your depth of field. We are also going to shoot at wide open aperture with this lens, 2.8 that's also going to narrow your depth of field 
that way we can kind of pinpoint where a focus needs to be at now I've already done some calibration to the lens so it's pretty close to where it needs to be there may be a little bit of an adjustment um, but I'm thinking we're pretty we're pretty dead on but I'm gonna show you how to do it so first thing we're gonna do is we zoom to 200 millimeter we're gonna go to live view bring it up live view we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna let the camera focus and as you can see we're focused on the number 12 okay let's just take that picture let's go off a live view and let's pull that picture up and now let's zoom in now as you can see we were on the 12 and the 12 is in focus the 11 is out of focus the 13 is out of focus the 12 is she's in focus all right let's do a micro adjustment get out of that by pushing down on the shutter release just sticking our finger on there and we're gonna go to the menu button we're gonna hit the menu button and we're gonna scroll with this top button up here over to the next to the last icon at the top and we're gonna scroll with this button here down to control custom function 3 autofocus slash drive we're gonna hit the OK button right here and we're gonna come to this menu number 5 depending on where you're at that's number six, that's number five, that's number four. We're going to come to number five, custom function three, autofocus drive, number five, autofocus micro adjustment. When we push the set button by default, it's going to light up this box up here on disable because that's the default setting. You're going to scroll down. If you select this one, adjust all by the same amount, it adjusts every lens by the same amount. You don't want to do that. Go down to adjust by lens. This tells the 7D to recognize what lens is on the camera body now and only apply these settings when that lens is attached to the camera body. The 7D is pretty smart like that. Now that you've got this selected, let's do a micro adjustment right now the lens is adjusted to plus two let's hit the info button right here it's the counting around all the buttons one two three four fifth button down one two third button up info button and we come to this menu now this menu right here is controlled by this knob right here and right now it's at plus two okay let's take this knob and let's go to plus 20 or 19 let's go to plus 20 what the hell and set it to plus 20 and let's see what happens let's go to live view okay take a picture okay live view off play and let's bring it on up now as you can see this 12 got soft and what's in focus is actually this line right here is what's in focus this line over here the 12 the one on the 12 is soft the 11 is way out soft you can see what the 13 is but it's it's soft too so it's shifted everything that way okay now let's go back to the menu autofocus drive adjust lens hit the info and let's crank it on back down here and we'll go down to plus one and we're going to see what plus one looks like we're going to hit this again right here to select OK, and that sets it to plus one. Now, 
live view and take a picture turn live view off hit the play button and let's zoom it in and see where we're at okay we've definitely come back this way now we can see that this line right here is more in focus the one is still a little bit out of focus you know we need to move we need to move more in that direction now you can see how important it is that the angle of this framing square be not quite parallel to what the uh, lens is running it's it's running just a little bit off a few degrees off so we can decipher what these numbers are let's go back to the menu button autofocus drive adjust by lens hit the info and let's go on down to negative let's go to negative two negative two worked once before for this lens and i'll see if it's going to work again push this uh, set button to make sure it's going to you know keep it in the settings i'll go live view again what the hell i like live view okay let's zoom it in let's see what happens hello 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 and click live view off i never use live view that much but for making videos it's uh it, you know for making video tutorials i guess like this one is pretty good wow look at that now you can see the 11 is out of focus the 13 is out of focus this line is out of focus this line is out of focus okay this this one right here this touching on the one this one right here just touching on the two is slightly out of focus and i believe we are dead on i believe we are dead on at negative two okay all right so that's a good setting for when we're at 200 millimeter but let's make sure it's also a good setting when we're wide we're going to go to 70 okay and we're going to bring up live view so that we can make sure that we are still focusing on what we need to focus on, which is that. Okay. And we're going to take a picture. Turn live view off. Bring that photograph up. And let's zoom in. Now, we were still because we have not moved the camera at all it's on a tripod it has not moved left it hasn't moved right it haven't has not moved closer to the subject matter or further away from the subject matter so everything as far as that goes is going to be the same so our focus point should still be the same now because we're shooting wider our depth of field is going to be wider it's not going to have the compression that the 200 millimeter in had okay it's also making as you can see we're zoomed in all the way and it's this is you know dropped down now air air focus point is a center focus point and it's actually right on the edge of this thing okay so it could be off just a little bit but if you look you will see that the number 12 the line in the center of the number 12 is sharper than any of these lines on this side and any of these lines on this side okay so where we're at now is dead on so negative 2 is where we needed to be at for this specific lens again we're shooting at 2.8 and we're keeping it we're keeping the camera in the exact same location for every adjustment so there you have it um, very simple down and dirty way of uh, calibrating the lens I uh, hope it helps 
some of you guys out there. I know a lot of folks will be like, uh, man, you need a million dollars worth of stuff to do that. But hey, as you can see, I just did it. Um, and it works. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave me a comment. I'll try to answer them. I'm not a... I don't know everything about this stuff, but uh, hey, I'm learning like everybody else, and we just share knowledge together. So I think that's uh, always a good thing. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, just a little added tip. When you get to videos, and you'll notice that a lot of people are running ads on their videos. And for a long time, I didn't do it. But, um, you know, if you see somebody and they've got an ad on a video, what would it hurt to click the link and go there? I mean, we get like three cent, and it really kind of helps us out, you know. It kind of, it kind of motivates us. Anyway, it doesn't cost you anything to click on an ad. So what the hell? If I come see your video and you got an ad, I'll click on it. Hope you have a blessed day.